anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Ah! Arthur, you're slipping in your old age. Hey, what's going on, you big beautiful assholes? Here's me voice. Now, before we jump in, I'd like to give a couple of shout outs to Chrissy Chaos GTA Photography, Elegant Outlaw, Fear, Dutch Vandalin 1899, and Miss Sadie Adler 55. You can find these fucking legends on Instagram. Links down below. Every one of my garments is a little different, because every pelt is a little different. You heard it from that douchebag's mouth. Every pelt is a little different. And that could not be more relevant in this video because today we are taking a look at the Ghost Bison outfit. Now I know what you're thinking, this outfit looks sexy, fuck me how do I get my own? I'm going to click off this boring fucking video to go and get it myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll there Buster Brown. Because I'm going to be talking you through what you need to get to get your hands on this absolutely impeccable piece of garmentry. Is that a real word? Probably not. Fuck it. So we're starting over here, Amberino, Lake Isabella, and we are hunting down the ghost bison. Now if you are not familiar with hunting legendary animals, you bring up your eagle eye when you get to the area and you will see these speckles. They look orange to me, but I'm colorblind so they could be fucking purple for all I know. But what you're going to do is inspect these and these are clues and when you collect one it'll show you a path to the next one you've got to collect and once you've collected about I think it's about three of these the legendary animal in question will spawn for you now obviously you've got to kill this thing for which I recommend you use the rolling block rifle I use the bolt action which took a good three shots to the head and if you use your rolling block you're looking at two shots maybe even one if you're lucky but yeah, three shots with a bolt action, that's, that's pretty terrible. And the idea is you're going to want to kill this thing before it starts running away. And the bolt action is not the way to do that. At least not with this. It's pretty powerful, all told. But shooting this bison took three headshots. So I'd go for the rolling block if I was you. Has anyone ever noticed that when you've got something important on the back of your horse, you always seem to get predators right in your face? Every single time, making a tr way to the, your way to the trapper, you've got something important like a legendary pelt. Watch your fucking back, mate, because they are coming after you. They can smell that uh that legendary pelt a mile away, and they are just begging to take it off you. But we made it here. Shoot those goddamn walls in the fucking face. And here we are. Right, let's see. Boy, the things I can make with this. So moving down the list guys, we are moving on to the legendary elk. We are still in the state of Amberino, right near Fort Wallace here on the map. And this is a bit of a bastard. Um, there's a lot of trees in this area. He's going to be running all over the place. So I would recommend that you have at least some in your dead eye gauge. Because you're going to want to double headshot this thing. Because one ain't going to kill it, even with a rolling block rifle as you'll see in a second, is not going to take him down. So, just be ready. This guy's going to get on his heels and try and run.
once you finally locate him, make sure you don't rush right up to him because he's he's pretty skittish. He's uh, he'll get afraid easily, and uh, off he goes. Get your dead eye out. Wait for the bounce back. Give him a second shot, and down he goes. Down he rolls. Looks like he's crying blood there. Majestic creature, absolutely beautiful, dead as fuck. Making our way back over to the trapper, who actually knows what type of animal we have. Crazy detail. You better believe it, bitch. So, once we've got our legendary elk sold and he's creamed his pants over it we're moving on to the animals of the non-legendary variety and we are starting with a perfect sheep pelt now there's a number of places you can do this you find people herding sheep out on the plains places like that but definitely you're gonna find it a lot easier to just fucking poach some farmer dickhead that uh Makes out that he's going to do something, but then can't, because, well, he's a pussy. Obviously, make sure this thing's got his three stars. Obviously, the star system, one, poor, two stars, good, and three is what we're looking for, which is perfect. Make a sweet getaway. Fucking steez. Alright, so last on the list, guys, we've got to get us get ourselves a perfect goat pelt. Now, again, right here on the map where I am now is a little farm where this guy's going to get a little pissed off that you're coming to poach his goats, but what's he going to do? You just shot him to death. I think he can spare a fucking goat. Again, you can find these. I think you can find these in the wild as well, guys. I think they hang around the heartlands, places like that. And you can also obviously get them from livestock pens at places like Valentine and Emerald Ranch, where I just was. That guard dog's doing a real fucking terrible job. Welcome back. All right, let's have a look. So there you have it, they are the animals you need to get your hands on the ghost bison outfit. So there we have it, we got our white bison hat, a white bison coat, elk half chaps, elk mocassians, whatever the fuck they are, and our elk range gloves. Hope this video helped you to look super suave in the world of Red Dead Redemption. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always guys, 
take it easy.